Hi, I'm Karen for Expert Village. Now we're going to cook our yeasted Belgian waffle batter. Remember to preheat your waffle iron before you start. Most waffle irons will have two indicator lights, a red one to show that the waffle iron is plugged in and on, and a green light to show when the waffle iron is hot enough to cook. The green light also will show you when to remove your waffle from the waffle iron. Now let me show you, we had our yeasted batter in the refrigerator overnight, and this is what it should look like. Very full and full of air, and we're going to stir that down. You see it is a little bit glutinous looking, but that's exactly what it should look like. So we'll stir that down and we'll get the air out of it, and it will rise again when we cook it. It has a nice yeasty aroma, and when you cook them, it has a nice tangy flavor. I'm going to use one half a cup of batter in our waffle maker. You just put one half cup in each grid section, and then close that up. It really has a nice yeasty smell to it, sweet and yeasty at the same time. And we'll just wait for that green light to go before we take our waffle out. You want to avoid opening the waffle iron before the green light because you'll ruin your waffle. It'll split it in half. Okay, my green light has turned off and it has turned on again, so that means it's time to take those waffles out. You just want to lift the edge like this, and then when you can get a hold of it, you pull it out pretty quick so it's nice and hot. As soon as you take that out, you put on a cooling rack, and then you just put another scoop right into your waffle maker, a half cup in each grid section, and close that up, and keep it going until your batter is completed. There, our green light is on, and we're going to remove these waffles from the waffle iron. They really have a nice, sweet, and tangy smell to them. The yeast batter is, uh, is very different from the other batters. A little special flavor. Let's put a little bit more batter on there. Half a cup in each section and close that up. Oops. The green light doesn't go off right away, but it'll go off. And then when it comes back on, that's when you remove it from the waffle iron. It takes about two and a half to three minutes to cook the waffle. 